Hey everybody, it's the Boss Lady here coming to you with my Halloween tablescape. Um, kind of playing around with a few different things um, as far as what's on the table. So let me get a little closer so you can see what I'm talking about. Um, I added on the lanterns from the porch and I'm thinking they don't go with the table. <laughs> But I wanted them on the table anyway, so they're up there for now. And I added, um, as you can see, on the bigger ones, I have the burlap uh, ribbon. On the one in the far back, I have the um, candy corn ribbon. I have different little sprinkles of little table spreaders or their little um, pumpkins all over. These little... Uh, jars you see here these were miss peanuts inspiration she wanted uh to wanted to decorate the table and so i followed her lead on it and this is what we came up with so this is the first one and it has eyeballs inside for now <laughs> so that's the first one with the bat then she has this one here has pumpkin and ghosts on the side so yeah so it goes like that and then this one also has the eyeballs in it. And then this one here is also um, inspiration and just has a ghost on the front. Or not ghost, I'm sorry, skeleton. Uh, this little candy dish here, which doesn't have candy in it yet. I can either put candy in here or a candle. Um, this was given to me a long time ago when I was a little girl from my sister's godmother. So I try to use it every year. Um, so it's just a little pumpkin. See, there's nothing in it right now. Then I have this little little plate here. It says boo on the front and it has a little ghost on the back. That actually was filled with candy corn years and years and years ago. I've had it for a long time. And then I just added these little bubbles and little pumpkin bubbles. Um, as you can see, I have my Dollar Tree uh, pumpkin, uh, felt pumpkins, and I'm using those as placemats. I have my black plates that I've uh, had for a long time. And then I have my Dollar Tree bowls. Then, as you can see in the middle here, I have my thrifted uh, candle holders, which are now holding pumpkins that I also thrifted. And then I added on the uh, leaves, and this one has little berries on top, and then leaves on top of that one as well. So, and then this is the other lantern. But let me show you what it looks like without the lanterns on the table. Okay, so that's the table without the lanterns on it. Um, so I'm on the fence right now if I want to keep the lanterns on there or not. But either way, it still looks nice. Uh, Miss Pina did approve. <laughs> it got her approval. So yes, yeah, so that's the table um, for Halloween. So that is pretty much all that I'm doing for Halloween. Um, I will be doing a little bit outside, but nothing fancy that I'll be videoing. But that's the tablescape that I just switched it over to. And I switched it now because um, come the 1st of October, I'll be too busy to do it. So... Let me show you what I did in the kitchen. And here is my tablescape for the kitchen table. So all I did was just uh, bring the placemats in from the porch. I'm using my orange chargers and then my Dollar Tree plates and cups. And then in the middle, um, I have this little faux flower here and I had thrifted that a while ago. Um, I also have my little Family Dollar apples and they're on both sides here. So the other one's on that side you can see it right there um, and then I also have my orange daisies on the on the table um, I didn't want to move them off because I don't want to pull all of my orange out of the kitchen just yet so that is the tablescape for the kitchen so please like comment share and subscribe and I will see you all in a new video bye bye